Hello everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's not Friday. I am coming to you to kick off our new catalog. So let's see if we can find everybody. See if I can find myself. Here comes Mac. He thinks I'm talking to him. <laughs> I am so glad to be back. We had an amazing vacation, but you know, it's always good to be home, right? So good to sleep in your own bed, just to be in your own environment. We had an amazing trip. If you guys have never been to Key West and you've thought about it, I highly recommend it. I wonder if any of you live in the Florida Keys. As we drove through the Keys, I thought about that. And I <laughs> thought about, I wonder how long it takes um, UPS to get here. Do they have to um, drive through all the Keys? <laughs> That's how my mind works. Um, it's beautiful down there. I was worried that we'd feel a little isolated um, down there, but oh my gosh, no, it was truly paradise. Um, so if you ever have a chance to go, you must go. You know, the dogs are all here. They're all ready for Facebook Live. <laughs> I told the girls, please keep the dogs upstairs, and they did not. Okay, good, I see you guys jumping on. Let's see if I can find me. Um, so today is, ooh, my counter's a mess back there. I'm in the middle of doing a bunch of things. I've got all that cardstock, um, see right there, all that cardstock to prep for a team training we have next week with 16 projects, and they're awesome. Um, and then over here, our Facebook Friday from last week, and then that's also team training. I've got all kinds. I usually try to clean it, but it's not clean. <laughs> Um, do you guys see my earrings? They are so pretty. Um, I got a card in the mail from Christine. This is her card, which is adorable too. And she said that her sister makes earrings. And as soon as she saw these, she thought of me. And Christine, you are right. I love, love, love them. So thank you. She sent them in a cute little paper pumpkin box, which I was thinking, I need to case this box. Actually, this is, a, this is probably one of our new kits. It was Paper Pumpkin, and now it's a kit, right? Anyway, thank you, Christine. Oh, my gosh. Love them. Okay, so looks like you guys have found me a different day, a different time. This is not Facebook Friday. There will also be Facebook Friday this week. This is Facebook Live. I'm so excited the catalogs are, are live. That's what this is. Like, let's just talk about the catalogs. Let me show you a couple things and then I'll see you on Friday, all right? So um, hopefully I won't keep you as long as I normally keep you. It's good to see all of you. Um, yes, surprise! Um, let's see if I can. <laughs> oh, come on, Facebook. I don't know what it's doing. Um, okay, so like I'm running a class, raise your hand if you've put in your first order. The catalog went live this morning. I was up bright and early putting in several different orders for several different things. Um, these are the catalogs. This is the Holiday Mini, and that's not the official name. The official name is August to December 2021 Mini Catalog, right? No, it says July. Well, it's August. July to December, because of the pandemic, they pushed it a month, started August. Anyway, it's new. I just call it the Holiday Catalog because it's all the holiday stuff, right? Um, so this catalog went live today. It goes through, I can never remember, January 3rd. So it's quite a long time. Um, it's a great one. Um, the other thing is this. So we usually have celebration once a year um, in January and February, sometimes March. This year, Sam and Up said, we love celebration, so we're going to do it twice. So August and September, we have celebration part two. I'm calling it summer celebration. I don't know if that's the right name because it's August, September, but I don't know how to distinguish it from the other celebration. So I don't want to say August to September celebration. Too many words. Let's call it summer celebration. If you're new, celebration is the best time to shop. Um, everything in here is free. There are two levels of things. Um, one is free with $50. Most of the things in there are free with a $50 order. And then there are, I believe, two things that are free with a $100 order. But I'm gonna tell you that the better deal, if your order is close to $100, the better deal is this starter kit, and I'm gonna show you why. Um, you do not get celebration items in your starter kit, um, but you get a lot of free stuff. And then, after you buy a starter kit, you get a 20% discount on all your orders, 
And also you get celebration items on those orders. Plus you can get Stampin' Rewards on those orders. Once you become, when you buy a starter kit, you're a demonstrator. You don't have to sell. You don't have to hold parties, workshops, classes, Facebook Live. You can just be your own customer. If you love Stampin' Up! and you shop a lot, it might be um, a good option for you because you get a discount. But let me show you, I'm gonna flip the camera around because I wanna show you. There are two things in here. Let me see, what were they? There's a stamp set called Delicate Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlias. Yeah, it's a good stamp set. It's just not my style. I have it. I want to play with it, but I have it. I've gone for all the other cutesy things first, but I haven't played with it yet. That's free with $100 because it's a bigger stamp set. It's beautiful. And I saw a card today that somebody made with it that was stunning. Um, the other thing that is free with $100, what is it? The Summer Shadow Dyes. They go with Oh, what's the stamp set? Shaded Summer in the annual catalog. So those are the two things that are free with $100. But, but, let me tell you, I think the better deal if you're spending $100 is that starter kit. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to flip you guys around, okay? Um, during celebration, Stampin' Up! always does something different um, for starter kits. And um, I, I also want to clarify, a starter kit sometimes scares people. Like, oh my God, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to sell, I'm gonna have to do, um, hold classes, I'm gonna have to do all this, right? But you do not, right? We call demonstrators who join for their discount, we call that hobby demonstrators. And I will tell you that about 80% of my team probably are hobby demonstrators. Um, so don't ever feel like, you know, you have to apologize. I always have people email me, say, I'm gonna buy a certificate, but I'm not, you know, it's fine. Join for whatever reason you want. The flip side of that is, yes, you can make money, um, you can, you know, s pay some bills. You can make um, a little bit of money back to buy more stuff, which is why I started because I wanted to buy all the stuff. <laughs> and my husband was like, you cannot. So I bought the starter kit so that I could sell to my friends, um, have a class here and there and make a little bit of money so that I could buy all the stamps that I wanted. So whatever reason that you consider the starter kit, you know, everybody has their own reason. So don't feel like it has to be anything specific. But here's the deal, during celebration, which is um, this month and next month, um, the starter kit is $99 plus free shipping. I always wanna throw that in because shipping on a $100 order is 10 bucks. So that's an additional you know, $10 that we would save. You pick out $125 in product. Anything from the annual, from the holiday mini catalog or the clearance rack can go in your starter kit. Um, you could buy I don't know, all dyes, you could buy all paper, you could buy all inks, you could buy a mixture, it doesn't matter. So it's nine, it comes to $99, you can't go over the 125, it'll cut you off. That's how the starter kit usually is, that deal, which is a great deal. During celebration, uh, Stamina Up has added that you can add on a bundle from the holiday mini. And it's not all the bundles, it's some of them. And I went through and wrote down the prices because I'm a bargain shopper and I'm going to want to get the most bang for my dollar, right? And so if I'm picking out something free, I'm going to pick out <laughs> the most expensive thing on my wish list. So out of the, how many are there? 12? Out of the 12 bundles you can choose from, this one I believe is the most expensive. Christmas to remember, which is the one, I think the only one on here I don't actually have. Um, I do think I actually ordered it. It just hasn't come. Um, so it's this one right here page let's look at page 19 so you can see the samples um it's a pretty one but i was trying to order all the uh huh okay i uh, see i didn't even realize that you know what maybe i do have that it's bad when you don't know what you have i know you guys can um <laughs> you can uh um sympathize so this would be the most expensive choice christmas to remember it's sentiments and then it's these um like foliage dyes, pine cone dyes. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so that's the only one I don't have, but let me show you the other choices. Um, you can pick Peaceful Deer, which is we're gonna use today. This is, um, I actually didn't care for this stamp set. When I first saw it, I was like, meh. But then I have played with it. We're gonna use it for my team meeting this month, and oh my gosh, it is a fantastic set. It has the punch and um, the little antlers. It's cute. So that could be one of your free choices. 
The other choice that has a punch is Penguin Place. And I have a feeling this one is going to be super popular. This has the coordinating paper in the celebration catalog. And I'm going to tell you about that stuff in just a minute. All of that is while supplies last. And my gut tells me that Penguin Paper, unless Stampin' Up! ordered a bazillion of it. I have a feeling if anything sells out, it's going to be that Penguin Paper because it is so cute. But it coordinates with this. This punch punches out the Penguin on the paper as well. So this is one of your free ones that you could choose. Those are the two cheapest on the list. You know, if you think like me, <laughs> you think, I'm going to get the most expensive one on my list for free, and then I'll use my discount later on to buy the cheaper ones. I don't know. All right, so here's this one, Beauty of Tomorrow, um, $50.25. And you know what? Here are the dies, and I can't find them. I don't know if I accidentally just ordered the stamp set. I don't know. I swear I bought the dies, but anyway, I can't find them, which is upsetting. <laughs> You guys know how I lose things. Anyway, they'll turn up, I hope. Um, Beauty of Tomorrow, that's a really, really good one. What page on the catalog is that? I wanted to look at that. I still don't really know. Did I already do that one? No, I didn't. Beauty of Tomorrow, suddenly I'm feeling like I showed you that one, but that was not, was it? No, this was the most expensive one, that's right. Oh, you know what, mate, no. I don't think I have the dies. That's the one we just looked at, right? What page 19? It was 19. That one. See, I keep thinking they have images, but they don't. They're words. That's why I'm confused. Nope, that's a different one. Beauty of Tomorrow. Christmas to remember. You guys, why can't they make the names easier to remember? Hold on. Beauty of Tomorrow, we're up here. Christmas to remember. Those are the dies. That's the one I don't have. These are the ones. They're similar. Those are the ones that that's the one. That's the most expensive. This is the one I don't have the dies for. So what page is that? 69. Oh my God, you guys. I'm still recovering for vacation. Look, look how pretty that is. Beauty of tomorrow. There are three stamp sets, three bundles on this that all start with the same word too. Peaceful. Or maybe there's two. I don't know. I can't keep them straight. But that's that, okay? Oh my gosh. Moving on, Erica. Focus. Gorgeous Leaves, which is one of my favorites. You can see I've already used it. I used it, posted a card last week with this. In fact, I have it right here. I love fall. And so that's this one. You can get that one. How much is that one? 44. Okay. Then this one is going to be probably... This one and the pink one, I think, are going to be the most popular of the holiday catalog. Sweet Little Stocking. How much is it? $47.50. I know you guys have seen the coordinating paper. The dies are really good. They have the stockings, but look, they also have this little like pennant. I'm gonna make, we gotta make a 3D project out of that. Yep, we got to. All right, and all of this. So that's one, and that is what I say, $47.50. You can choose Peaceful Cabin. Now I bought this. It's not really my style, but I'm really intrigued by the dies. So we'll have to see what I can come up with this. This one is pretty pricey too. This would be a good free choice, um, $54. Does it, has anybody ordered this? This is, some people, this is like totally their style. Um, this intimidates me a little bit, but I think I think I gotta play with it, it's pretty. Frosted Gingerbread, okay. This one, all of you guys always ask me, what are gonna be your classes? This is gonna be my big Christmas retreat to go that I do. It's gonna be the Frosted Gingerbread Suite, okay? So it's coming. But if you're gonna buy the starter kit and you want it, you can get this one for free, $48.50. All of, you pick one on top of your $125 in product. All right, then there's this one, Nature's Harvest. <clears throat> and look, that's what I used back here, these little twigs. Twigs, stems, and it has that little, what flower is that? Who knows, what flower is that? Um, Debbie, will I be doing a class with a stocking set? Yes, I'm glad you asked me that. That is going to be, I wrote all this down somewhere to tell you guys. October. This one is going to be October. Nature's Harvest is going to also be October. One that will be club, one will be a class. Um, tentatively, all right? Because remember, I didn't think I was going to like this at all, but I love it. So sometimes I get something and I don't like it when I start. And then I'm like, okay, we got to change gears. So tentatively, Nature's Harvest. Let me get my list so I can tell you exactly what I have. What I have penciled. I don't have it in permanent ink. It's penciled. Pretty Penguins and Cutest Halloween will be September. Club and class. October will be the stockings. 
And the sweetest treats, maybe. That one's, mm, I don't know. November will be the gingerbread and whimsy and wonder. And that's another free one you can get. And I don't have it. It's, where is it? Isn't it on here? Did I make that up? No, it's right here. Whimsical Trees, page 67. It's with a pink paper that I love, 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 love. Let's go back, look, 67. No, I don't want this page. I want the page with the, all the samples, 25. Let's look at that, 25. Look, oh, so pretty. I am usually a traditional colors for Christmas kind of girl, but oh my gosh, if it has polished pink in it, I'm on board. Okay, so then that'll be November. One will be club, gingerbread will be class or retreat to go. And then December, I don't know. I have question marks there. Sometimes we have um, something that they bring out that, um, you know, it's like out of catalog. And sometimes I use that. So I don't know. Tentative, tentative. So nobody hold me to it, okay? But maybe, probably. Like 85% chance that that's what it'll be. Um, okay, did I say this one? Nature's Harvest. They're out of order. Is this one not on there? Yes, it is. Okay, $53. There's that. And then Christmas season. This one is so good. I got this. Didn't we get this in Maui? Look at these labels. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love, love, love. This is a great, great set. Kind of watercolor look. You know, I don't know if I have that penciled in. That's a good one. Okay, so those that's what you can get for free. Let me make sure. Did I miss anything? Christmas season. Yeah, we did that. Christmas to remember. The one I got confused. Dot, dot, penguins. Peaceful cabin. Oh, Arctic bears. Why don't I have that? That is so cute. The Arctic bears. That's another one you could get. Beauty of tomorrow. Gorgeous leaves. Nature harvest. Okay. Rewind. To recap, if your order is close to $100, instead of choosing one of the $100 pro, uh, free products in here, I think the better deal is the starter kit. It's $99, free shipping, you pick out $125, whatever you want, plus one of these for free. After that, you'll get a 20% discount on your orders. You'll get all my PDFs for free. You get my class kits at a discount. You get um, early access to the next catalog. You get, um, I mean, there's a ton of things. If you're interested in that, Click the tab at the top of my blog that says join and you can read through it. I haven't updated it with this special, but it has all the basics on there and it has the link if you're ready. Okay, clear as mud. I know that was like I butchered that, but whatever. You guys know, you can read. All right, let me move this. Oh, it's hot in here. So hot. All right, so I was going to tell you about this. This catalog is while supplies last. Where did the other one go? While supplies last. There are several papers in here that are gorgeous. We're gonna use this one in a little while. And I didn't think I was gonna like the Be Dazzling paper, you guys, because I usually am not a, a glimmer paper person, but it's gorgeous. Oh, I have it right here. It's big, almost like, it reminds me of like a mermaid. It's really pretty, it comes six by six. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's one of your $50 free options, the penguin paper, which is super duper cute. And I know Denise is on here. Denise made these cards for me this month for my team birthdays. Look how cute she used that paper. Adorbs. Um, then there's the Feels Like Home stamp set, the beautifully penned designer series paper, which is interesting. I didn't pull it out. Let me see if I can get it real quick. It's like some paper we have in the annual catalog. It's similar, the hand pen paper, but it's all black and white. Isn't that interesting? You can color it or you can leave it black and white. Look at that. Looks like water spilled on it, but that's how it's supposed to be. Like it's a uh, watercolor. So really cool, I like that paper. Um, you can get this paper that we're gonna use here on the first card. So let me go ahead and show you, because I pulled it out. I absolutely love this paper. And can you tell why? <laughs> it has gingham on it, look, oh, my favorite. All right, so this is a full pack of paper. You'll get two 12 by 12 sheets of each one of these. If you choose this, look at that one. If you choose this paper free with a $50 order, all right? 
there's so many good things in this catalog, but we've got to remember that it's while supplies last. So at any moment, this stuff could sell out. I think Stampin' Up, they've done a really good job in recent months with ordering enough, but it's very hard to predict, you know? So if you need to prioritize your celebration list, um, which things do you want the very most? Get them first. Those things that you'd be devastated if they sold out. Um, the counting sheet, which is what you guys voted on, <laughs> was one of the ones for today. Don't worry. I think next Friday will be, I think I'll do a whole Facebook Live with a counting sheet. Because they're so cute. The dies. So 50 and 50 um, for those. Um, that textures and frame stamp set. And then we're to the $100. Summer shadow dies and the delicate dahlias. Now, if your order, now notice this says host, right? Host a class, a workshop then you can look at this chart. Yes. But if you're an online shopper, like many of you are, you also can earn these host rewards. We call them stampin' rewards. Party sales, scratch that, total sales. So if your order is $150, you get 10% of that in stampin' rewards, which means 10% in free stuff, whatever you want. Up to $300, 12%, and then you also get this free stamp set. I don't have it but it's a fantastic one um, in your words. So if your order is over $300, you're gonna get that stamp set. If you're a demonstrator and you put in an order yourself over $300, you're also gonna get this. You're gonna get the stamp of rewards and you're gonna get your discount and you're gonna get celebration items. Um, demonstrators get the same rewards customers do, just FYI. I know some companies don't do that. Okay, questions. I haven't even been looking. Um, you guys, I'm sure you know all this, but I'm just making sure. Uh, you know, Den Denise, the glimmer is while supplies last. I know. It scares me because I don't want it to run out. I want to use the penguin for next month's Club Create, but I'm so nervous that that paper is going to sell out. Surely not. I don't know. Hopefully not. Okay. Let me get a drink and I'm, we're going to make a couple of cards. You guys, I was just going to make one and I actually had already prepped everything for it. And then y'all voted and it, you really want to see that cute little Halloween. So I was like, well, let's just do two. This card we're going to make features that free celebration paper that I just showed you, right? And that glimmer paper. What is it called? It's called Bedazzling. Is that what it's called? I can never remember. I just call it glitter paper. But let me use the right name. Bedazzling. Okay. Um, but I want to show you this. This is what my team is going to make at our team meeting next week with that paper. Look. Look how cute. It opens up. You can see all the pretty prints on either side. I love that one. It doesn't even have the deer. All right. So this paper is... Awesome, totally awesome. And here's another card I did. Did I did I post this one yet? I don't think so. I can't get enough of either of those papers. Really cute, look. Look, I have a whole class ready to go right there. Maybe I should do a class. It's beautiful. Okay, let me make a little bit of room and we'll start. The other thing I'm showing you on here is this cork paper. It looks like cork, but it is as thin as paper. I have bought cork many years past, you know, in the, at the craft stores, the scrapbooking stores, and it's kind of thick. This is paper thin, super, super thin. Um, so we're going to use a piece of that. I thought it went really well, too, there. I also was thinking that if you just changed his antlers to regular antlers and changed the sentiment, you have an, a masculine card, a dude card. Wouldn't you think? I think. Okay, you guys, I have got to turn that fan back on. Hopefully it doesn't shake the camera too much. Okay, now I didn't type anything up for today. This is kind of a last minute, throw it together, loosey goosey Facebook Live. So don't ask me where the PDF is. I will update my blog tomorrow with the measurements and the photos, all right? All right, now one thing I did, <laughs> Both these cards today are cases, which means copy and share everything, right? 
two different blog, I mean, uh, challenge blogs I found, and I can't even remember which they were. I think, well, I'm not even going to tell you. I don't remember. But this was a sketch, and then I cased one of the cards. She used different stuff. But anyway, just, just wanted to throw that out there. The design, the layout, is not my original idea. Okay, now I decided to use Very Vanilla, but I wanna caution you that it's white on the other side. <laughs> but we're not using those sides, okay? And I didn't, I didn't even, I don't even know what these are. One and three fourths by five and an eighth. All right, and this paper right here is three and a half by five and a fourth. Don't worry, it'll all be on the blog tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to, we're gonna put these right here. Terry, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I'm just that excited. No, you know what I had to do today? I had to go to the mall with two little teenagers and go to Hollister. So I'm just happy to be out of the mall. That's what it is. <laughs> I told my mom that's the least favorite um, parenting chore of them all. I'd rather change dirty diapers all day than go to the mall with two teenagers into Hollister. All right, this one is three and an eighth. <laughs> I know you guys out there with teenagers feel me. And this piece of cork is one and seven eighths by one and three fourths. Again, yes, I'll put it on the blog. Now, this is our basic border dies. I cut a zigzag, um, a rick rack, if you will, from basic black. Okay. <laughs> Trisha, funniest mom comment ever. Just wait. Hollister is like, I think, if I imagine what hell is like, that is, it's Hollister with the loud music and the sassy teenagers that work there. And then my my girls embarrassed to be with me and they like nothing I pick out. And oh my God, it's not fun. Not fun. I thought ju shopping at Justice was bad. You guys remember Justice? I don't even know if they're in business anymore. It's like a teeny bopper store. Like when your daughter turns like in fourth grade, they want to start shopping at Justice. I thought Justice was bad. Nope, I hadn't, I hadn't discovered Hollister yet. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this down on a basic black card base. The reason I added the Rick Rack is because when I ended up cutting this down, I, it was way too skinny. I didn't plan very well. So I thought, well, let's just add a Rick Rack there and we'll make it cute. It all fits. I have cut a tree. This is a mossy meadow tree from the Mountain Dyes. What, what are the names? The mountain dyes? That's what I call them. You guys know the mountains. And we're going to put that right in the middle with some glue. Okay. And we're going to stamp our reindeer. Uh, Peggy, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh my God. It's funny because I'm stamping that on very vanilla in. Um, soft suede okay not not a uh, memento black and we're going to color it with soft suede markers my youngest all of a sudden literally she's going to be in seventh grade literally all of a sudden this last week she's decided that she wants to shop and she's never in her life she like lives in her gym shorts her sweatpants she does not care all of a sudden she's asking me about forever 21 and she in and Hollister and Abercrombie. And I thought, oh my God, here we go again. <sighs> Child number three. But I guess that'll be, you know, I'm rounding the bend of the teeny bopper stores. All right, we are going to color this in soft suede. I'm doing light. I'm gonna add some shadows with, I'm gonna switch over. I don't like the way that's looking with it. I'm gonna switch to the brush tip. Trying to think, you know, it's weird when your kids become teenagers, there's not a whole lot of, there's like this weird in-between size when they're not really, they can't, they can't really wear kid clothes or they don't want to wear kid size clothes, but yet adult clothes are way too big. 
we're kind of, we've kind of, I think we finally have passed that, but it is frustrating as a mom to try to shop for that age. All right, now I'm gonna take the dark and just kind of add some shadow under the belly where the legs overlap and then just right here under her chin, kind of around the neck, middle of the ears. Then I'm gonna go back with the light and pull that color out towards the top of her. Soft suede's very dark. I hesitated to use it because I always use crumb cake, but I really, I like the way it turned out. All right, I'm gonna go very light over the top because I want that to be the lightest part. Okay, all right, while we're here, let's stamp a sentiment in real red. Um, Terry, you know what's funny? She says, better than Victoria's Secret. Whoa, they're they like Victoria's Secret too. They have a they have a whole line, a brand of Victoria's Secret called Pink that is geared towards the teenagers, mostly the older teenagers. I will never forget when my oldest, she must have been, I don't know, middle school, and she wanted to go to Victoria's Secret and I about lost it. <laughs> Was like, excuse me? But they have they have like clothes and sweatpants and sports bras and stuff but yeah even Victoria's Secret and then they're seeing other things in there and they're looking with their giant eyes like oh my god yeah oh, it's fun I love to shop by myself <laughs> all right I cut those antlers out um of that bedazzle right bedazzle celebration paper put a couple of little dots of Tombow and let's see if I can get it to stick without sticking to the table. Let's flip it over like that. Oh, come on. Don't stick to my fingers. It's totally sticking to my fingers. All right. So now that more of you are here, anybody live in the Florida Keys? I want to ask you how long it takes to get mail there because I think I'm going to pack it up and move. Not really, but oh my God, I loved it so much. But I gotta make sure UPS delivers in a timely manner. <laughs> Priorities. Okay, I'm gonna put some dimensionals there. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's cut this out. We're gonna cut this sentiment with one of those seasonal label dies, the skinny one. These are so cute. Let's see, they kind of nest. I mean, they're not identical, but they kind of nest. Does that one fit in there? Look, it does. See? I have been using these a ton since I got them. Okay. You guys, we came home from um, Florida on Saturday, and as soon as we walked in the house, we smelled skunk. <laughs> yeah. And the two older dogs had stayed here. We have a neighbor who came and fed them, whatever. We have a doggy door. They've always done that. They're totally fine. But apparently one of them had a run in with a skunk while they were gone. That, I think he just maybe got a glancing blow because it wasn't, like the house doesn't need to be burned down quite yet. But it was like, oh my gosh. Can you imagine? I'm always worried about that doggy door. <laughs> Remind me again when we have dogs. Pepper stayed at my mom's with her BFF, Millie. She's too little to stay by herself. All right, so there we go. We're going to do that right there. And then, last but not least, yeah, Peggy, you do need those seasonal dies. I'm telling you. They're awesome. They coordinate with a stamp set. If you buy the stamp set and the dies together, you save 10%. But if you just bought the dies by themselves, they'd be very useful as well. Ta-da! There we go. What do you guys think about that paper? Um, the paper, the paper I love. You know I love. I thought I was going to really like it, but I really, really love it. 
All right, you know what? I meant to move this down. So these are not the Facebook Friday make and takes this week. You guys, we're gonna be live again on Friday. But for those of you that wanna shop between now and then, here's the host code for Friday's make and takes. And we're gonna do a penguin card, we're gonna do a sheep card, and we're gonna do, uh, what's the third one? Penguin? Hmm, I can't remember. I have no idea. Maybe it's the deer. I don't know. I have three more projects for you on Friday. Oh, it's totally crooked. Okay, hold on. Why? My camera must be real crooked because it looks real crooked. Okay, let me move this and let's get the Halloween. This card was also a case of a card I saw. And a drawing a blank. Drawing a blank. I can't remember. So I hadn't planned on doing Halloween, you guys, but some of you are very excited about the Halloween, which I am too. This will be my September class, the cutest Halloween. Um, so if you haven't bought it and you want to wait till I have my class, you can uh, get it with the class and whatever embellishment I include, which will probably be the stars, um, you'll get those for free. All right. I always, if you add, if you buy a class to go kit with the bundle, you always get something for free. And you'll get a celebration item too. But the paper is really the star of the show. What's it called? Cute Halloween. And the colors are really fun. Flirty Flamingo, Highland Heather, Old Olive, Pumpkin Pie. All right, so we've got these purples, the cute ghost. And I think that that punch would punch out that ghost. Let's see. Right there, yeah, I would punch out that ghost. Okay, the backs are black and white or gray. Then there's the cat, which would probably punch out also. Oh yeah, look how cute. And the pumpkin, right? I don't know, I'd have to cut it out to get it to, to let's see, can I twist it? No, does it fit, does it work? Yeah, it does. I just can't get the paper in there all the way. All right, so there's that black and white stripe on the back. Cute. Then there's this pattern, the polka dots. Polka dots are always useful. There's all those cute colors and the little black and white candies. And you know, guys, when you have a black and white paper, you can take your blends and color the white part and change the color. I never think to do that. But then I see somebody else do it. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? The little bats with the polished pink. No, it's flirty flamingo, isn't it? I keep thinking it's polished pink, but it is flirty flamingo. Do I have a flirty flamingo? No, I don't have it here. Very cute. Very, very cute little vampire. I'm so glad our paper, Halloween paper this year is cute and not scary. Little stripe, little polka dot, cute skulls, like not scary skeleton, cute skeleton with rosy cheeks, another stripe on the back. Some haunted houses with an old olive background. And this is more like a gray. Well, yeah, I mean, it's probably a washed out black. And then that cute little stripe. This paper and the little polka dot paper could totally be used for other things. It almost looks like a baby card to me. Very cute. And what's on the back? Black and white. Now, usually our six by six our six by six packages of paper have four of each design. This one does not, it has six of each design. All right, so there are less designs, but more of each of them, which I kind of like. All right, so that's what we're using, super cute paper. And let me move that. Let me get all my stuff. All right. Let's do our stamping first. Hi, Vicki, how are you? Now, when you have a punch like this, you can make a template by just punching them out like that. And then you can lay the stamps down in there. Did I not bring the stamp set over here? Where is it? Where is it? Am I looking at it? Oh yeah, here it is. And then you take your stamps and you lay them down in there 
like this. That way you're not gonna waste a bunch of paper. Cause you know, if you stamp them separately, individually, and then you try to punch them out individually, you waste a lot of paper that way. So lay them down and pick them up. All right, and then I hope I did sometimes, <laughs> well, I won't tell you. Let's make sure it's correct and then I'll tell you what I do. Sometimes I flip the paper over and I do it backwards, but I think I did it the right way. Let's make sure. Ah, I didn't do it the wrong way. I just stamped it so that I have to cut that off. Nope, that's right. All right, so see then you can line it up and punch them out all at one time. But first let's decorate them. Um, we're gonna use, we're gonna leave the little ghost white and we're gonna stamp, there's all these cute little faces and accessories, there's even a candy corn stamp. Um, so the little ghost, he has his little hands, like he's holding something and he's got a smile, he's cute. The cat, I'm gonna do Highland Heather, which is a little bit too dark. So we're gonna stamp off. All right, so Highland Heather, stamp off on a scrap paper, come back and stamp right there, okay? Now I stamped off with Peekaboo Peach also, but I feel like it was too light. So I'm not gonna stamp off this time. Let's see. Let's line that up right there. Yeah, I like that full strength, much better. All right, then we've got the cat, the kitty cat face. I love when <laughs> stamps have faces and you can make them all cute. I could put a face on pretty much anything. There we go. All right, now I'm just gonna grab my crumb cake and color that in. Let's stem. Let's put, oh no, before we do that, let's bring over our rectangles. I have a flirty flamingo and a peekaboo peach stitched rectangle. And the sentiment is hilarious. It says, hey boo, which I find hilarious. And I'm gonna stamp that right here in memento on the bottom left corner. Did I say peekaboo peach? Did I really? Why can I not get it straight? Hey, you know what? I found a piece of peekaboo peach in my scraps. It is totally different. I think that's peekaboo peach. I found it way in the back of my drawer. Totally different, right? I don't know why I keep wanting to call it peekaboo peach because it's not even close. I think that's peekaboo peach. It doesn't say, but it's a scrap and it was way in the back. Pale papaya. I'll never get it right. Because I don't even realize when I'd say it wrong. So there's no hope. Pale papaya. All right, let's line them up. And get right in the center. And then there they are. Okay, now let's flip them over. They're so cute. Now I cut one inch strips from several of these pieces. And did I use that one? Yeah, we did. So then I'm just gonna take them and punch the end. Nope, we need to do it this way so the paper's not upside down. Punch the end. Would help if I opened it. Punch the end. You know, I'm rusty. I haven't stamped in like two weeks. <laughs> Uh, all right, mm, it's crooked. Let's try it again. Well, now it's real crooked. Hold, please. Let's try that again. Better. All right, then we've got the stripe and the polka dot. And then the little, like, baby stripe, baby card stripe. All right. Now we're gonna cut them down to an inch and a half. Mm, you know 
I better measure that. That doesn't look right. Let's measure it. One and a half, like I said, one and a half. Okay. <laughs> Mary, you're not a Halloween girl. You know, this is a cute Halloween set. It's like not offensive at all, right? You know, because some of the Halloween stuff can be like, whoa, scary, creepy. This is just cute. It's so cute. Ah, is that too short? It is. Well, good things we've got some more strips. Boy, this one just doesn't want to do right. The reason I didn't cut them to one and a half first is because it would be very difficult to fit them down in there. You got to kind of keep them long. There we go. All right. So now we've got all of our pieces. Let's start putting it together. Move all of this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I almost lost my little peeper. people. No, look, those are the whites. Never mind. Throw those away. All right, so we're going to, there's going to be a lot of dimensionals involved in this card. I'm just warning you. So if you're going to mail it, you know, extra postage. Square, non-machinable card stamps work perfectly with thick cards. All right, so we're gonna put this on a basic gray card base. You know what, Stampin' Up, you need, I mean Stampin' Up, Facebook, you need to get it together because I still can't see comments. All I'm seeing is repeat, 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 repeat of so-and-so's watching, so-and-so's watching. I don't know why. It is the cute faces, Mary, I agree. The, the super cute faces. Okay, now we're gonna do some of these flat. And some of them popped up. So we're going to start over here with these guys being flat. And we're going to put one in the middle. I put the, the gray or the black and white ones in the back flat. And then I'm going to do dimensionals for these. Okay. You think that's Tangelo, that orange? I think when I pulled it out of the light, it looked very dark, but earlier it was very light. Who knows? Uh, Brandy, is Brandy on here? She told me she found a peekaboo peach and she sent me a picture. I, I know I have some in there. Way in the back. Way in the back. Okay, now see if you can follow me on this. This is weird. One dimensional on the cat. One dimensional on the pumpkin. And then we're going to put the ghost in the middle. We're going to put two dimensionals on him because if we don't, he'll be, if we just put one, he'll be equal with those and he'll look flat. He needs to be two dimensionals tall to be even with the cat and the pumpkin. All right. There we go. Now, this is going to make some of you cringe. This is new ribbon that is absolutely beautiful, but it's not flirty flamingo. It's not, it is blushing bride. I have a love hate relationship with blushing bride. This ribbon is gorgeous and I love it, but the paper when I pull it out always has like a dirty pink look to it and I don't like it. So I'm using it with flirty, flirty flamingo. Yeah, I, yeah, I am. It, they don't match, but they coordinate just fine. <laughs> I know some of you out there are like, oh my gosh, but they coordinate. They're not exactly the same and it's okay. I'm just going to do knots, two little knots because bows for this would be too big. So we're just going to do some little knots and let's use some little glue dots. I love the Halloween too this year. You know, I told you guys my Halloween class will be this stamp set. However, I really, 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 really like the other Halloween stamp set, the one that has dyes. So I could possibly change my mind. I don't know. I, I won't know until I start playing with it. So don't yell at me if I change. But I think it'll be this one because then we could just use the dyes from the other one. 
I don't know. We'll see. Last but not least, we are pulling out. I'm very disorganized today and I don't like it. I'm usually much more organized than this. We're going to use these stars, these black stars. And I'm going to just kind of sprinkle them around. Oh my goodness, come on. I'm going to sprinkle them around the frame, the edge. Like, like, come on. I don't have enough putty. Let's see if I can get some more to come out. This is a new putty tip. There we go. And then a couple of little ones in between. What is happening? Come on. <laughs> we'll do one right there. I want some of them close. I don't want them real uniform. Just kind of want to scatter them. Mm, maybe one more right there. And there you have it. What do you think? It's cute, right? Hey, boo. Oh, my gosh. I love the stamp. I mean, the sentiment. Hi, Pepper. Yes, I'm not talking to you. All right. What do you guys think? Cute Halloween is super duper cute. Cutest Halloween. Has the candy corns. It has all these other little things, too. You can add little ears to your... <laughs> That's Pepper. Sorry. She's trying to get my attention. Spider. Look, a little scarecrow face. Or maybe... That's a scarecrow face, right? I guess maybe you make that a scarecrow. I don't know. Yes, Pepper, I hear you. Trick or treat, have a fabulous Halloween. Treat yourself. You put a smile on my face and hey boo. So cute. Anyhow, this will probably be the one that I use for my Halloween treats class coming next month. Okay, now let me just show you a couple things. These are some of the projects I posted last week while I was on vacation. This um, delivering chair stamp set is adorable. <laughs> Pepper, excuse you, you're being very rude. Yes, I know, mommy can't pick you up right now. Um, I colored it with Stampin' Blends. This is that beautiful whimsy paper. This gingham is, what's that paper called? It's the gray and white paper in the holiday catalogs, beautiful. Um, here is the coffin box, I just cased the catalog. I thought it was cute. They're very easy to put together and super duper cute. Wow. See, there's one of those dies from the other and that one and that one. All of them, I think, are from the other stamps. I mean, the other Halloween bundle. Pepper, shush. And here's the pumpkin one. Look how gorgeous that pumpkin is embossed. Gorgeous. And I did black embossed pumpkins on the background. And then the penguins. I have a bunch of penguin projects. But I can't show you yet. They're going to be Club Create next month and team training, but they're coming. Um, these little guys were, he was punched from the Celebration Designer Series paper. And these guys were fussy cut. And then look, it's that diorama die for an iceberg. I was pretty proud of myself when I thought of that. <laughs> okay, that is it, you guys. So I will be back on Friday. Two o'clock central with three more holiday holiday slash celebration projects. My gosh, Pepper. If you guys don't know, schnauzers do that. They make this weird, they call it the schnauzer sing, where they like talk to you. And that's what she's doing right now. She'll yawn and make that weird noise when she's trying to get my attention. And she's turning her head. She thinks I'm talking to her. Anyhow, any orders between now and... Monday at midnight using this host code will get um, Friday's make and takes. The order has to be over $35, but it's celebration. I think you would probably want to bump your order to 50 to get a free celebration product. And the um, hand pin, hand, you know what? I didn't even tell you guys. The hand pin P, um, all star tutorial PDF came out yesterday. And I don't even know where my projects are. I'll tell you guys about it on Friday. Tomorrow we're having a blog hop. Um, the new all-star tutorial bundle. You'll get that for free too if you spend $50. Okay? Okay. I think I'm going to go take a nap now. It's been very stressful shopping at Hollister today. No, just kidding. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> and a dog to go take for a walk. You guys have a great week. I'll see you at fr on Friday at 2 o'clock. Please email me. Let me know if you have any questions, all right? Bye, guys. Thanks.